गेमिंग अमरा आवार चुले इस ची ये क्लास नहीं है अमादे प्रत्येकेर जे बुधवार के सेशन था के तो शेही जायगा टा थे के अमरा आवार शुरू कर ची आज के क्लास एवं मोने रखते हो बे अमादे जे इखाने अमरा प्रत्येके बीसीएसएर डब्ल्यूबीसीएस दिखे ताकि ये एगोची तो ड्रोनास के तरफ से हम लोग फिर से और एक बार वेडनेसडे इवनिंग को डिस्कस हिस्ट्री के कुछ टॉपिक कुछ क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करने के लिए आ गए हैं और आप लोग भी शामिल हैं एवरी वीक होते हैं शामिल होते हैं एवरी वीक अच्छी तरह से आंसर भी देते हैं मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है तो सब कुछ मिला के हम लोग शुरू करेंगे आज का सेशन और ध्यान रखिए कि ये जो सेशन हर वीक होता है ये डब्ल्यू बी सी एस मेन के लिए तो डेफिनेटली नज़दीक मेन प्रीली दोनों एग्ज़ाम ही हैं इसीलिए ये दोनों एग्ज़ाम के क्वेश्चन मिला के मैंने क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करेंगे क्योंकि मेन कुछ कुछ ऐसा भी क्वेश्चन होता है आ, कि मेन प्रीली दोनों में ही इम्पोर्टेंट है तो सब कुछ मिला के हम लोग ये डिस्कस करेंगे आज ओके तो आ, सीधा क्वेश्चन में चले जाते हैं पहला आज का पहला क्वेश्चन हु एमंग द फॉलोइंग गुड इवनिंग हेलो एवरीवन अगेन आज का पहला क्वेश्चन हम लोग देख लिया है कि Who among the following discovered the Cape route from Europe to India? It's a very easy question. Very, very easy question. Right? I think all of you know this answer. Everyone should know this answer. Uh, yes, it is Vasco da Gama. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Vasco da Gama. एकदम ज़्यादा ज़्यादा उत्तर दिच्छो ठीक उत्तर दिच्छो वास्कोडा गामा। Do you know in which year he came to India from Europe? I think you know this। कोतो शाले ये ये वास्कोडा गामा तो हमरा उत्तर दिले कोतो शाले 1493 no yes 98 absolutely yes yes 1498 वास्कोडा गामा came to Calicut okay and at that time the ruler of Calicut was Zamorin yes very good 20th May another important point uh, you have to remember I want to share that uh, who was the ruler of India or who was the ruler of Delhi at that time another important question who was the ruler of India or who was the ruler of Delhi at that time when Vasco da Gama arrived in India. Okay, you will see this question uh, in different exam. So, do you know when Vasco da Gama arrived in uh, arrived India or arrived Calicut, who was the ruler of very good Shongram? Sikandar Lodi. Very good. Agdomi Thikutto, Sikandar Lodi Chiren Tokon Shashok. Remember this. Okay, Sikandar Lodi was the ruler when. Vasco da Gama arrived Calicut or India in 1498. Very good. Very, very good answer. Okay, thank you. Uh, next question. Who which of the following Portuguese governor in India who captured Goa from the ruler of Vijapur? Another easy question. Another easy question, right? Two uh, D, two C, okay. Uh, no, Bino, it's not two C. Yes, it's two D. Alfonso de Albuquerque. Yes. In which year? In which year? Albukar captured Goa from Bijapur. Do you know in which year 
Alfonso de Albuquerque captured Goa from Bijapur 1510 okay uh, yes 1510 okay 1510 is the right answer uh, we will get the option and definitely you have to answer 1510 very good very good everyone good answer absolutely good answer now question number three who among the following european forced to sell all their settlements in india to the british who among the following european actually european power it should be european power forced to sell all their settlement in india to the british british चोले गये चिलो। Three C, Three B, Three D, okay. Little bit confusing, I think, this question. A, okay. अच्छा। और एक टाइ गांडो कोलर मनोच्छे प्रश्नों टा। तुम्हारे जोन। Okay. Uh, uh, I want to explain that uh, the correct answer is C, Danish. The power or the uh, company of Denmark, Danish. Actually, the Danish formed the East India Company and arrived in India in 1616, 1616, right? The Danish East India Company, the company of Denmark, uh, came to India in 1616 and they had uh, two important settlements in India. One in Tamil Nadu, Trankarbar and another in Bengal, Sirampur, presently in Hogri district, okay. But they failed to strengthen these uh, settlements and they sold all their settlements to the British and left India, okay. So remember the answer is Danish, 3C, okay, yes, absolutely 3C. No other answer, not 3A or 3D or 3B. It's Danish 3C. Remember this, okay? Now, question number four. Very easy question. The Treaty of Amritsar was concluded between Maharaja Ranjit Singh and who of the following? Very, very easy question. Kar Shonge, Moharaja Ranji Singh, Omrishar Shondi Shakhar Kore Chilin. 4D, 1809. Srirajul, uh, absolutely good answer, perfect answer. This is the right answer, appropriate answer. Yes, 1809, Lord Minto won. And, and uh, do you know? Who was the representative of Lord Minto One? Who signed this treaty on behalf of Lord Minto One? Lord Minto One ki taraf se kisne ye treaty signed kiye the Ranjit Singh ke saath? Ranjit Singh ke shonge Lord Minto One shora shori signed koreni. Tar hoye ki signed kore chilen? Bolte paro. Kisne signed kiye the? Ranjit Singh ke saath treaty of Amritsar on behalf of Lord Minto One. John Lawrence, no, yes, Ronnie, very good, Ronnie, yes, Ronnie gave the right answer, Charles Metcalf, Charles Metcalf, okay, Metcalf, Charles Metcalf, Charles Metcalf signed the treaty on behalf of Lord Minto one, right, remember this, okay, this is very important. So, uh, here you uh, Treaty of Eternal Friendship. Bustaval Lamana Pata Roni Yeta Bolcho Tigase. Pode Buji Bolo or Shubidani. Okay. So, uh, next question Which among the four, which one among the following? was the result of the first anglo maratha war 
of 1775 to 82. Read the options carefully. Question number 5. Read the options very carefully. Er modde konta prathom ingomartha judhe gurutopunno result chilo. Right? Read the options carefully. B. You are saying Pramila is saying option B. Any other answer? Okay, I got three answers, four answers. Aaj thoda kam answer mil raha hai mujhe. Kyu pata nahi? Question tough hai. Mains mein aisa hi question milega. Main exam mein, mains exam mein aisa hi question milega. Jo kuch sochne ke baad, thoda sochne ke baad correct answer milega. Aaj... Yes, 5B. 5B is the answer. Absolutely. 5B is the answer. Uh, all of you, correct answer. 5B is the appropriate answer. Very good. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely right. 5B. Okay, now uh, next question. Easiest question of this lot. Easiest, co easiest question of this lot. Where did, where is the tomb of Tipu Sultan located? Question number six. Where is the tomb of Tipu Sultan located? Tipu Sultan is Shomadhi Kothai Avosthito. Yes, all of you are giving the right answer. Siranga Pattanam. And I think you know about this treaty, Treaty of Siranga Pattanam, in which year? You know? Treaty of Siranga Pattanam. Tipu Sultan signed this treaty with the British in which year? Treaty of Siranga Pattanam. Very important. Treaty of Siranga Pattanam, 1792. No, not, no, Deepak. No, 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 Sirajul, 1799. Tipu Sultan died in 1799. 1792. After the third Anglo Mysore War, right? Not 1799. Tipu Sultan died in 1799. But the Treaty of Siranga Pattanam was signed in 1792. Yes, with Cornwallis. Very good. Nima, very good. Nima, very good. With Lord Cornwallis. Absolutely. Lord Cornwallis. With Lord Cornwallis. Absolutely. Right. So. Remember the Treaty of Siranga Pattanam after the Third Anglo-Mysore War in 1792 with Lord Cornwallis, right? Okay, fine. Now, the next question, another easy question. Who authorized, actually, uh, who authorized British East India Company to trade in the East? Who authorized the British East India Company to trade in the East? Question number seven. Uh, okay, Kelsang, you are here. Very good. Uh, Yes, absolutely. It is 7B. Absolutely right answer. 7B is the right answer, all of you. Okay, actually, the British East India Company received the Royal Charter from Queen Elizabeth I in 1600 AD. Right? And remember that <laughs> Queen Elizabeth I uh, was a shareholder. She herself was a shareholder of the East India Company, right? So, this is the right answer, all of you. 7B, yes, absolutely, it is 7B. Now, question number 8. Very, very important question. Which of the following area? received as dowry to Charles II of England. 
and given to the East India Company in 1668 for 10 pounds per year. Very important question. Okay. Question number 8. All of you are giving the right answer. Yes, it is Bombay. Absolutely, it is Bombay. And yes, uh, actually, uh, I should explain this. Uh, in 1662, when Charles II of England married Portuguese princess Catherine, received the island of Bombay as dowry, and he gave it to the East India Company in 1668 for 10 pounds per year. Right? All of you are correct. All of you are very much correct. Very good, very good performance, all of you. Very good. Okay. Uh, now the next question. Match the following. Right? Match the following. Very easy. Very, very, very easy. I think. Very much easy. Match the following. Question number nine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm, th three of you. I got the answer of three, four. Okay. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. It's A. A1, B2, C3, D4. It's already arranged, prop arranged properly. It is arranged properly. Absolutely. Absolutely. First Carnatic War, Duple was the French commander. Second Anglo Carnatic War, Mujaffar Jung Chanda Sahib. Okay. They were involved, Arcot, Hyderabad, they were involved in this Second Anglo Carnatic War. The French commander in the Third Anglo Carnatic War, Count de Lali, and uh, you know, Battle of Plassey, Siraj Dolla was defeated by Robert Clive. All of you know this. Very good, very good answer. Everyone, good answer. Absolutely right. Now question number 10. Easy question. Who among the following annexed Punjab as British territory after the Second anglo sikh War? Question number 10. I think another easy question. Yes, absolutely, all of you, it's 10D, Lord Dalhousie, yes, Lord Dalhousie captured or annexed Punjab in 1849 after the Second anglo sikh War. And another question I want to ask you that uh, you will find this question in different uh, exam uh, different PSC exam of different states PSC exams of different states that uh, which was the decisive battle in the second anglo sikh war siddhanto nirnoykari juddho ditiyo ingo sikh juddhe konta chilo which was the decisive battle in the second anglo sikh war do you know which was the decisive battle decision making war after which war yes very good rohit yes absolutely rohit gujarat battle of gujarat absolutely absolutely okay yes battle of gujarat first chilean wala then gujarat and you are saying absolutely right it is battle of gujarat the decisive battle in the second anglo sikh war and after that Lord Dalhousie captured the whole Punjab and remember after capturing Punjab the modernization of Punjab was the progress the process of modernization uh, of Punjab was started under Lord Dalhousie and that's why Dalhousie is known as father of modern Punjab I think you know this Father of modern Punjab, Bolahoi, Lord Dalhousie. Okay, you are absolutely, absolutely right. 
do you know about the option C Ayrkut Ayrkut was the commander of the British in which war the name of Ayrkut is also important Ayrkut also was a uh, British commander in one important battle which battle option C very good Vandivash battle of Vandivash absolutely the French power was complete no no bo not boxer not boxer Vandivash in the battle of boxer the British commander was Hector Monroe okay yes battle of Vandivash the French power was completely defeated by the British in the battle of Vandivash yes no no Ronnie it's absolutely okay bhool hotei pare shei jonnoi amader alochona kore nite hocche amra alochona kore nichi ekdom absolutely tumra ei je answer dicche amar khub bhalo lagche Vandivash yes Vandivash absolutely battle of Vandivash 1760 1760 right okay uh come to the next question question number 11 who among the following Sikh guru terminated the succession of gurus kaun se Sikh guru ne bataya thai ki iske baad koi Sikh guru ka system nahi rahega question number 11 iske baad koi bhi Sikh guru ka asitwa nahi rahega easy question I know this question is very much easy uh, yes 11 D because the last Sikh Guru was Guru Govind Singh right the last Sikh Guru was Guru Govind Singh and and uh, after uh, the Guruship of Govind Singh he said that uh, Khalsa Khalsa will take the place of the Sikh Gurus okay uh, he's the all the sons of Guru Gobind Singh were killed and after that Guru Gobind Singh said said that uh, there will be no Guruship yes yes uh, Khalsa he gave importance on Khalsa also okay he uh, gave very much importance to Khalsa Tini Bodei Diya Chilen Guru Gobind Singh Je Er Parar Kono Shik Guru Rostitra Thak Bena Yes, absolutely. Granth was given Guruji. Absolutely. Among ultimately, Gobind Singh, Itake, Rod Kurich. Yes, yes, Rohit, absolutely, absolutely. Toma Tiki Bolejo, Agdom. Ronnie Rohit, Agdom Tiki Bolejo, absolutely right. Ake Baritai. Amit Asha take to extra at Kolam, Je, Tini Khalsa Rupuro Jodi, and Je Khalsa Itake Egini Jabe. Absolutely. Agdom, Agdom. Okay. So, it was question number 11. The next question is going to be very interesting. Read the whole question and then answer it. Very carefully read the whole question. Kaun se Shikh Guru ne langar system ko thoda change kiye the aur bataya the ki pehle pangat fir sangat. Iska matlab hai first visit the langar then go to the Guru. पहले लंगर में आओ खाना खाओ और बाद में गुरु के साथ मुलाकात करो लंगर सिस्टम इटा कौन शिख गुरु एक टू चेंज करे बोले चिलें जे शिख गुरु देर का से जावर आगे आगे लंगर जेते हो बे खाओ दवा शाप्ते हो बे ओके फर्स्ट लंगर तार पड़े गुरु का से जावा आई नो दिस इज वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग क्वेश्चन ओके this is very much confusing question. I know this. Uh, let's see. Jana nahi eta. No. A D A. Beshir bhagi tomra A bolcho. Most of you are saying A. Uh, actually, the answer is option C. Guru Amar Das. Right. Guru Amar Das is the right answer. Uh, now tell me one thing. This Langar system, who introduced this Langar system? Longor Protha Ke Chalu Who introduced this Langar system? Do you know? 
this langer system was introduced by <laughs> okay thank you ha tomader ei proshno gulo to roni ei proshno gulo to korte hoy karon proshno nana rokom proshno ashe bibhinno rokom bibhinno state e bibhinno type er proshno ashe khuje khuje shei gulo ke ektu ek jaygay korte palle amaro bhalo lage yes guru nanak guru nanak absolutely guru nanak guru nanak introduced langer system and then guru amarda started this pehle pangat fir sangat first visit the langer then go to the guru okay okay thank you uh, next question come to the next question question number 13 very easy question who was the founder of the city of amritsar and started the construction of the famous golden temple of amritsar holy city of the sikhs very easy question question number 13 founder of the city of amritsar okay uh yes no confusion about it no confusion about this question it is yes sirajul yes 13a guru ramdas and actually sirajul uh, said this uh more prominently that uh akbar gave the land of this place 500 bigas of land akbar donated this to guru ramdas and guru ramdas founded the city of amritsar there and started the construction of golden temple and this construction of golden temple was later completed by the fifth sikh guru arjun dev right yes 500 bigas of land 500 bigha jomi dan korechilen akbar guru ramdas ke jekhane amritsar shohor gore uthechilo absolutely all of you absolutely right absolutely right very good answer very good answer now come to the next question right uh, sorry uh, read this question carefully and the options also which of the following statement is not true about doctrine of lapse yes old oldest name is ramdas nagar very good very good ratan very good now come to question number 14 doctrine of lapse satya vilop niti sambandhe er moddhe kon ta thik noy kon ta thik chilo na question number 14 which one is not correct about the doctrine of laps satya vilop nitir dara kon ta er moddhe thik hocche na okay it was a tricky question right it was a tricky question uh, all of you correct answer it was not ended by lord dalhousie uh, the system of doctrine of lapse was stop after 1858 okay uh, by the government of india act or by the queen's proclamation in 1858 maharani ghoshana patra ba bharat shasan ainer dara satya vilop niti tule newa hoychilo eta abolish ke korechilo je bollam 1858 sale jokhon notun bhabe puro system sipai bidroher por jokhon পুরো নতুন ভাবে সিস্টেমটা শুরু হচ্ছে তখন এইটিন ফিফটি এইটে ওই গভর্নমেন্ট অফ ইন্ডিয়া অ্যাক্ট বা কুইন্স প্রকলামেশন মহারাণীর ঘোষণাপত্রের দ্বারা এটাকে উইথড্র করে নেওয়া হয় ডক্টর অফ ল্যাপসকে উইথড্র করে নেওয়া হয় ওকে ইট ওয়াজ উইথড্রন দ্য ডক্টর অফ ল্যাপস ওয়াজ উইথড্রন আফটার এইটিন ফিফটি এইট আফটার দ্য গভর্নমেন্ট অফ ইন্ডিয়া অ্যাক্ট অর কুইন্স প্রকলামেশন দিস ডক্টর অফ ল্যাপস ওয়াজ উইথড্রন দ্য ব্রিটিশ ইম্পিয়ারিস্ট পলিসি ওয়াজ স্টপড by this act okay yes 14 c is the right answer it was not ended by lord dalhousie okay very good okay we will come to the next question question number 15 what was the role of tatia topi in the 1857 mutiny okay see the options carefully 
what was the role of Tafia Topi in the 1857 mutiny? Question number 15. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got some confusing answers. I know this. Uh, we'll get confused uh, after reading the options. Tumra shawai pray bolcho A. All of you are saying, most of you are saying option A. Right? Uh, <laughs> Here I want to tell you that the correct answer is C, both A and B. Those who have uh, answered C, they are correct. Option C, both A and B. Definitely he was the commander in chief of the army of Nana Sahib and he also organized the Bhils, the Bhil tribe of Panchamahal region against the British. Okay, yes, yes, all of you. Uh, who opted C are correct definitely sure so remember both the options are correct A and B that's why the here the answer is option C both A and B okay aaj ka question thoda interesting lag raha hai na mujhe bhi lag raha hai ki thoda aaj ka question aap logo ke aap logo mein thoda interest लाके देगा कि थोड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग होगा शायद मैंने सोचा ओके सो रिमेंबर दैट ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट ओके फॉर योर एग्जाम्स नो पंचमहल इज इन गुजरात पंचमहल इज इन गुजरात ओके रतन पंचमहल अखंड गुजरात है पूर्वे क्या मुन इटा गुजरात है पूर्वे भील तो भील भील बिहार दी के थाकर कोथा ना बिहार है भील पावे ना तुम्ही राजस्थान दी के पेते बारे वही आर महाराष्ट्र गुजरात दी के भील तुम ये कौन भील रिवोल्ट पोड़ बे विल व्हेन विल रीड अबाउट द भील रिवोल्ट ओके भील अप्राइजिंग विल फाइंड द नेम भील रिवोल्ट्स भील ट्राइब इन महार which is not correctly matched in may say ye charo option may say kaun si option thik se pair nahi hai okay read this carefully read this carefully which is not correct which is not correct let's see uh, 16d you are saying 16D. <laughs> no, Bidjis Kader was also, Bidjis Kader was a son of Begum Hajrat Mahal. He was also involved. Bidjis Kader was also involved in Lucknow. Bidjis Kader was a son of Begum Hajrat Mahal. So he was also involved in this. The correct answer, yes, those who are saying option C, they are correct. Bareilly. In Bareilly, the leader was Khan Bahadur Khan. Or Maulavi Ahmadullah was the leader in Faiza, uh, I think Faridabad. Okay. Bareilly. In Bareilly, the leader was Khan Bahadur Khan. Right. Bidjis Kader was a son of Begum Hajrat Mahal. And he was also involved in the revolt of 1857 right no Delhi General Bakht Khan it is correct General Bakht Khan was the commander of the revolt of 1857 okay uh, this is little bit confusing I know this Aajka question thoda confusing hai do char question as a confusing hona hi chahiye hona hi hona bhi chahiye thoda confusing nahi to kaise easy question mein karne se kya hoga so here the correct answer will be option C. Yes, Mongol Pandu was the first person to hang up in British India. So here the right option will be option C. Bareilly, Bareilly, Khan Bahadur Khan was the leader. Right? Very good. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिलेटेड टू द कॉजेज ऑफ फेलियर ऑफ एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन रिवोल्ट एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन का रिवोल्ट का फेलियर के पीछे इनमें से कौन सा रीजन इम्पोर्टेंट है कौन सा कौन सा रीजन इम्पोर्टेंट है ओके ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेइंग बोथ आर करेक्ट लैक ऑफ यूनिटी एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन लैक ऑफ मिलिटरी स्ट्रेटेजी सो यस डेफिनेटली बोथ आर करेक्ट बिहाइंड द फेलियर ऑफ द रिवोल्ट ऑफ 1857 वेरी गुड वेरी गुड आंसर वेरी गुड ऑल ऑफ यू एब्सोल्युटली राइट एब्सोल्युटली राइट गुड आंसर गुड आंसर ओके सो कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन यस मेनली लैक ऑफ यूनिटी ओके नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ ट्राइबल मूवमेंट very easy question very very easy question which of the following is not a tribal movement yes tebhaga very good answer tebhaga tebhaga movement was a peasant movement tebhaga andolan chilo ekti krishok andolan right but rest of the three were tribal movements chuar bhil kol all of these were tribal movements okay yes present movement of bengal was tebhaga movement do you know in which year tebhaga movement was started in which year the tebhaga movement was started it's important it's very much important in which year the tebhaga movement was started yes very good 1946 very good 1946 is the right answer Tebhaga movement was started in 1946. Good answer, absolutely good answer. In Bengal, started from Dinajpur, right? Started from Dinajpur. The Tebhaga movement was a peasant movement. Very good answer, everyone. Uh, I don't know actually. Uh, I don't know the uh, date actually. Okay, but. Uh, Uh, just uh, follow the website of psc we'll get uh, okay a uh, chuar movement uh, chuar movement ami ashbo ami ashbo karon erokom ekta proshno dewa ache okay em ekta proshno dewa ache ami ashbo raton jodi na ashe last e ekbar jiggesh korena shombhaboto erokom ekta proshno dewa ache chuar movement er jayga ami dekhchi ami aschi sei byapare question number 19 who was the best and bravest military leader of the rebel very easy answer very very easy answer the best and bravest military leader of the rebel question number 19 yes rani lakshmi bai and who said this about rani lakshmi bai do you know no the answer is rani lakshmi bai option b question number 19 option b yes pema lamu sherpa very good by hugh rose who was the commander in uh, jhansi in during the revolt of 1857 yes absolutely absolutely very good answer very good answer all of you hugh rose yes absolutely question number 20 which one of the following upheavals took place in bengal immediately after the revolt of 1857 question number 20 which one of the following upheavals took place in bengal immediately after the revolt of 1857 uh rohit yes your answer was wrong rohit yes uh all of you it is indigo revolt 1859 After the revolt of 1857, Indigo Revolt, or uh, if uh, you will see the question like this: Before the revolt of 1857, then Santhal Rebellion, 1855, right? After the revolt of 1857, Indigo Revolt. Before the revolt of 
Santhal Rebellion 1855. Here, the correct answer is Indigo Revolt, immediately after the revolt of 1857. Okay? No, not 20A, it's 20C. Digambar Vishash, Vishnu Charan Vishash of Nodia. Very good, Sriyajul. Absolutely. It's not A. Immediately after the revolt of 1857, definitely Indigo Revolt, 1859, after 1857. Sanasi Rebellion was in 1777. Okay? During that time. Right? Now, question number 21. Interesting question. Who were the Farajis? You know about the Faraji movement. Who were the Farajis? Who were the Farajis? Question number 21. Very easy question. Very interesting question. Uh, yes, absolutely. Followers of Haji Shariatullah. Yes, absolutely. Followers of Haji Shariatullah. Absolutely. Haji Shariatullah initiated the, the uh, uh, Farazi movement. Yes, absolutely right. Haji Shariatullah. Absolutely. Absolutely right. Absolutely okay. Okay. Now, question number 22. Who led the revolt of Santhals? Very important question who led the revolt of santhals question number 22 okay uh, yes this is not so easy this question is very much confusing not so easy not so easy this appears to be easy but this answer is not so easy I got mixed answers. Ekhane kintu onek rokom uttor ami paachi. What should be the right answer? Yes, both A and B. Shidhu, Kanhu, Chand, Bhairav. All of them were the leaders of Santhal Rebellion. Right? Remember this. Shidhu, Kanhu, Chand, Bhairav. All of them were associated with the Santhal Rebellion of 1855. Not only Sidhu Kanu, Chand Bhairav also. Okay? They were the younger uh, brothers of Sidhu Kanu. Okay? Ita kindu khyal lagbe. Chaat jo nahi kindu chilen shantal bidru hai. Sidhu Kanu, Chand Bhairav. Shudhu matro, Sidhu Kanu naam bolle hobe na. All of them. Both A and B. Yes, at Raj Mahal Hills in 1855. Raj Mahal Parvot Tonchole, Atherosho, Ponchan Noshale. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Very good. Very good answer. Okay, now come to the next question. Which one of the following uprising occurred in Maharashtra? Which one of the following uprising occurred in Maharashtra? Among these four, which took place in Maharashtra? Okay. Which took place in Maharashtra? Rampa Rebellion? No, not at all, not at all. Maharashtra? No. I have already said this. I have already said this. Uh, don't get confused. Yes, it is Bhil Uprising. I have already told you that Bhil Uprising, mainly in Rajasthan and Maharashtra, Gujarat, right? This is Bhil Uprising. Rathon, you have been told that the Chuar was the same. I have been told that the Chuar was the same. I have been told that the Remember, uh, Bhil Uprising uh, in Maharashtra and also in Rajasthan, right? Coal Uprising in Chotonagpur. Rampa uprising in Andhra Pradesh. Rampa is, was in uh, uprising took place in Andhra Pradesh by Alluri Sitarama Raju. Okay, 
and you know all of you know about the santhal uprising right rajmahal hilly areas okay so bhil uprising took place in maharashtra remember this okay rampa andhra pradesh okay remember rampa uprising andhra pradesh yes absolutely okay question number 24 very easy question which tribal leader known as dharti aba father of world 24 question number 24 which tribal leader is known as dharti aba father of world yes it is birsa munda birsa munda absolutely birsa munda and remember one thing that uh, this uh, birsa munda he called himself incarnation of god okay incarnation of god and i think you know this that this uh, munda revolt is also known as ul gulan u l g u l a n ul gulan right all of you know this ul gulan okay munda revolt is also known as ul gulan question number 25 which of the following is not correctly matched raton here is your answer which of the following is not correctly matched yes pema uh, it's ulgulan ulgulan yes absolutely 25 which of the following is not correctly matched all of you are saying 25d so what should be the right answer what should be the right answer chuar revolt took place in which area yes in bengal chuar uprising in bengal mainly in midnapur <coughs> okay midnapur yes raton you got your answer uttor peye gecho asha kori tumi to bodhay jiggesh korechile chuar uprising kothay hoyechilo ekhanei tomar uttor ami bolechilam je erom ekta proshno dewa ache oi jonnoi ami bollam okay so chuar uprising Bengal, Midnapur, right? Absolutely, एकदम। ठीक है से। बाकी गुलो शॉबी ठीक है से। बाकी गुलो नहीं है कोनो समस्या नहीं। And remember, among these four, Mopla revolt is very very important. All of you know this about the Mopla revolt. Uh, Mopla revolt of 1921, Kerala और Malabar, Malabar area और Kerala. Chuar Midnapur, yes, Chuar Midnapur. Okay? कोविड सिचुएशन के पहले जो एग्जाम होते थे उस टाइम तो वहाँ मोटर व्हीकल्स का जो एक एग्जाम हुआ था वहाँ मोपला रिवर से क्वेश्चन दिया था इन हुईच एरिया मोपला रिवोल्ट was started the options were north malabar south malabar west malabar kerala what should be the answer mopla revolt was started at north malabar south malabar west malabar kerala motor vehicles uh, ka jo uh, exam hua tha waha ye question uh, 2000 i think 19 mein aaya tha yes kerala should be the answer kerala bolne se sabhi jagah Uh, हो जाता है उसके अंदर सभी जो uh, हर एक एरिया आ जाता है राइट केरला शुड बी द आंसर केरला बोलने से सब कुछ आ जाएगा केरला बोलने ही किंतु बाकी उलर कथा ऑटोमेटिकली चले आसे सूत समस्या है ना केरला बोलो को समस्या नहीं राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एन अदर इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सिम्बल ऑफ एटीन independent struggle was question number 26 symbol of 1857 independent struggle was 
Yes, all of you were saying uh, lotus and chapatis. Yes, absolutely lotus and chapatis. All of you are correct. These were the symbol of the revolt of 1857 and the symbol of the sepoys. Absolutely, absolutely right. Absolutely right. Okay. Uh, now, question number 27. The real name of which one of the following leaders of 1857 was Ram Chandra Pandurang? Question number 27. The real name of which one of the following leaders of 1857 was Ram Chandra Pandurang? Uh, yes, absolutely. Tatiya Topi. The real name of Tatiya Topi was Ram Chandra Pandurang. Very good. And uh, do you know the real who, uh, who had uh, the real name? Who had the real name? Dhundupant. Whose real name was Dhundupant? Tatiya Topi, the real name of Tatiya Topi was Ramchandra Pandurang. And Dhundupant was the real name of. Yes, Ronnie, very good. Nana Sahib, yes, absolutely right. Nana Sahib. The real name of Nana Sahib was Dhundupant. Absolutely, absolutely right, all of you. Very good, very good answer. Very good answer. All of you, all of you. Okay, now uh, question number 28, very important question, very, very important question, read the options carefully. After the revolt of 1857, the British recruited the soldiers from the, okay, after the revolt of 1857, the British recruited the soldiers from the, mainly from the, actually. Uh, you are saying 28C, Gurkhas, Sheikhs and Punjabis in the north. Okay. Actually, uh, yes, all of you are correct. All of you, 28C. C is the answer. 28C is the answer. Right. Because uh, actually in the revolt of 1857, the Gorkhas, the Sheikhs, the Punjabis helped the British. Okay. They joined the British. Yes, C. C is the right answer. They joined the British and they helped the British to suppress the revolt of 1857. That's why the British recruited uh, soldiers from the Gorkhas and the Sheikhs and the Punjabis. Okay. And remember that. Uh, ये tradition आज भी uh, Indian Army में दिखाई देता है. Gorkha Regiment, Sheikh Regiment, यही दोनों Indian Army का main regiment है. ये tradition उस time से लेके आज तक एकदम चलते आ रहे हैं. Okay, so they recruited army from these groups, Gorkha, Sikhs and Punjabis. Very good, very good, absolutely, absolutely. Now question number 29, very easy, which one of the following territories was not affected by the revolt of 1857? Which one of the following territories was not affected by the revolt of 1857? Very easy question. Yes, absolutely, Chitor. Rajasthan was not at all affected. Okay. Rajasthan mein iska koi asar nahi hua tha. Revolt of 1857 iska koi impact uh, Rajasthan mein to nahi hua tha. Absolutely. Absolutely all of you. All of you. Uh, remember that uh, a question uh, exam mein aap logo ko mil sakta hai ki revolt of 50, 1857 ka impact कहाँ नहीं हुआ था वहाँ बंगाल का भी नाम कभी-कभी मिल जाता है आ, बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स सोचते हैं कि बंगाल में कब हुआ था बंगाल में तो ये रिवोल्ट ऑफ 1857 हुआ ही नहीं 
क्यों लेकिन वो लोग बैरकपुर के बारे में सोचना भूल जाते हैं भूल जाते हैं इसीलिए बैरकपुर बंगाल में ये भूल जाते हैं ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा इसीलिए बंगाल ऑप्शन में अगर रहेगा तो उसको आंसर मत करना क्योंकि ये आंसर थोड़ा कंफ्यूजिंग हो सकता है ओके किसी आ, एक, कभी कभी ये क्वेश्चन मिलता है बंगाल देखने से आंसर करके चले जाता है बहुत सारे ओके आज का लास्ट क्वेश्चन आज के सेशन का लास्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हु वॉज द प्रोमिनेंट इंडियन हिस्टोरियन हु डिड नॉट एक्सेप्ट 1857 रिवोल्ट एज अ रेवोल्यूशन क्वेश्चन नंबर 30 हु वॉज द प्रोमिनेंट इंडियन हिस्टोरियन हु डिड नॉट एक्सेप्ट 1857 रिवोल्ट एज अ रेवोल्यूशन के बोले को विप्लव आंदोलन नय अठारोश सतान्न सिपाही विद्रोह एट कोकम ही आंदोलन नय ऑल अफ यू आर से डर रमेश चंद्र मजुमदार आर सी मजुमदार येस एबसल्यूटली रईट रमेश चंद्र मजुमदार सेट दैट इट वज नाइदार फार्स्ट नर नैशनल नर अ वर अफ इंडिपेन्डेंट इट्स नट एट अल अ रेवल्यूशन और रिवोल्ट बाट ऑन द कन्ट्रारि वि डी सभारकर सेट दैट इट वज द फार्स्ट वर अफ इंडिपेन्डेंस येस पेमा एबसल्यूटली रईट रमेश चंद्र मजुमदार सेट इट वज नाइदार फार्स्ट नर नैशनल नर वर अफ इंडिपेन्डेंस एंड वि डी सभारकर सेट दैट इट वज द फार्स्ट वर अफ इंडिपेन्डेंस ऑल अफ यू आर रईट एबसल्यूटली रईट सो हाउ वज टूडे सेशन इंटरेस्टिंग और नट Yes, yes, absolutely. All of you are absolutely. The questions, I think, the questions were interesting also today. Okay, very interesting. Thank you. Dronas ke taraf se mujhe bhi acha laga ki aap log bahut acha participate kiye hai. Bahut bahut acha participate kiye hai. Or question, aaj question thoda sochne ka mauka aap logo ko mila. Shayad aap logo ko thoda sochne ka bhi mauka mila. इसीलिए मुझे भी अच्छा लगा ओके डिस्कस करने में मुझे भी बहुत अच्छा लगा तो थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन। वन की तरफ से मैं फिर आऊँगा नेक्स्ट वेडनेसडे सेम टाइम 5:30, 5:30 पीएम। इस तरह कुछ इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस लेके ओके अगर आप लोगों का आप लोगों को कुछ आ, अच्छा लगा आ, कोई भी आ, काम में आया तो मुझे भी अच्छा लगेगा ओके यस ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन फ्लैट क्वेश्चन देने से तो फ्लैट क्वेश्चन भी है लेकिन थोड़ा ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन तो होना ही चाहिए थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन ओके आप लोग स्टडी करते रहिए मैं आपके साथ फिर uh, ये क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करेंगे नेक्स्ट वीक ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू ऑल